next-gen firewall sounds impressive. Essentially, there have been evolutionary advances in all of these. Um, and it's, it's wrong to, to believe any vendor uh, who talks about a silver bullet solution. You know, you buy our box and your problems will all magically go away. The attacks in, in today's day and age won't necessarily come as some kind of an assault on the castle wall. They may involve infecting one of the serfs and then letting him, as he goes into the castle, carry the infection in. Traditionally, there are probably three main pillars of malware defenses, uh, antivirus on the desktop, a firewall at the gateway, and then a sp specifically a secure web gateway like Bluecoat's Proxy SG, um, specifically monitoring the web traffic because a traditional firewall would, would essentially open port 80 and port 443 and a few others and just assume, okay, that's web traffic. Well, these days, almost everything is web traffic. And so you need something like a, like a secure web gateway specifically to dig into that. You really have to think about that kind of attack surface. How am I going to keep all of my surfs safe? And you quickly realize, oh, I probably can't, right? Even if I'm buying you know, nice vendor cloud solutions, that's just too many things to keep perfectly safe all the time, right? It's a logical impossibility that I can build any kind of a defense that will keep 100% of my people and 100% of my systems safe 100% of the time now and in the future when we don't know what the bad guys will be trying in a year or two. Blue Coat um, is famous among the security vendors when all of the firewalls and web filters and, and so forth were castle defenses at the edge of the, of the network and they weren't actively connected to the cloud. Um, they were updated, sure, once a day or so with, with new information, but they weren't actively out in the cloud. And our solution was built as a cloud-based service 10 years ago. It was designed that way. So that's in our DNA that we have all of these customers and solutions sending us some, or in some cases all, of their traffic to look at. And so what we can do for a customer is provide some visibility not into what's going on in their network necessarily. I mean, they've, they've got the blue coat box. They know what the traffic logs look like. Hopefully they have a packet shaper as well to watch some of the other ports and protocols besides the web stuff. But the thing we can immediately obviously give them is some visibility into what's going on outside of their network, right? Correlating what's happening in their world with what else we see. And that would be very valuable information. And the other thing is just um, ideas on how to use what they've already gotten more effectively.